So you just bought your uh, Genrite spec front 60, VXR 60, and you're going to put your upper control arm mount on. A couple of modifications you need to make uh, to the axle to get this guy to fit, and I'll show you how right now. If you look at this, uh, this edge right here, we want that to shave that off so that it's flush with this machine surface so that our top plate here can sit down flat on it. For that, I like to use a fiberback disc uh, that keeps it, it's got this uh, hard rubber backing and it keeps it nice and flat. If you use a flat disc, it tends to make valleys uh, and grooves and we don't want that. So here we go. So now we can see that sits nice and flat and we can go ahead and bolt it up. This is a half 13 by one inch. You can use either a 12 point with a small head on it or an Allen, you know, with a socket head. Um, we're gonna have a couple welds up here along the side that might interfere with a standard hex bolt with a washer on it. Okay, so we've got that bolted up. Now, we'll take our two uh, control arm uh, brackets here. Uh, we've got this spacer pre-made. Basically, it is you know 20, 30 thousandths wider than the uh, Johnny joint mounting point. So, let's put this together real quick. Honestly, you could use a Johnny joint uh, to tack your piece together and then just pull it out afterward um, before you do your finished weld. Obviously, you'll need to in order to get in there anyways. So these pieces uh, are laser cut, key and notch, so those just click right in. Now this is our second modification we're going to need to make. When we go to put this on here, what happens is it likes to hit the inside corner of this piece. So what I do is I take my grinder, go ahead and knock those off. Now when we go to put this guy on, you can see it clears those welds, sits down nice and flat. Here, here. We've got all of our edges touching, fits real nice, so we'll go ahead and back that guy up. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and leave in our spacer for now, or in your case, the Johnny joints. I'm going to weld all of my outside uh, points, everything I can get to with the spacer in. Uh, then when it comes time, uh, I'll, I'll pull that out. Okay, so here's a little trick for you guys. I do this every single time I, do, I weld these on. I'll go ahead and remove these bolts, just these two, to make this one run. While it's still hot, I'll throw those guys back in, move over here, pull these out, run, make that run, and then throw them back in while it's hot. That way we can get them out of the way and get a decent weld next to them. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, we've got the entire inside welded on the whole back side of the bracket. Our spacer still fits in there nicely so we know our Johnny joint's gonna go right in. On this very last weld on the front, it's kind of an awkward position. I do like to rotate my axle down flat like this to make it a little bit easier. And that's it. That's how you do the Genrite upper control arm bracket on a Curry EXR 6070. It's all the same bracket, it's all the same process, uh, and that's it.